So to create pattern pieces for your design, you're going to be using one of these three great tools here. This is the polygon, the rectangle and the ellipse. So the polygon helps you to create patterns by and when you click back at the point you started, you complete the whole pattern. So the rectangle, as the name implies, just helps you to draw rectangles and the ellipse helps you to draw oval shapes or circles. So during the course of this video, we're going to be designing a simple gown and we're going to start with a rectangle. So to draw the rectangle, just drag, I'll try to get a symmetrical sided rectangle. So draw from one side and release at the other side. So you have a rectangle pattern. Now I want to turn on the length of the rectangle pattern so that I can see the size. All I have to do is right click and then I'll, I'll click on show length. So I'll see the size. So no matter how hard I try to get a round number rectangle, it's impossible because I'm drawing by freehand. But there's a way you can draw your rectangle with the exact dimensions that you have in mind. So I'm going to delete this. I'll select the rectangle and then tap on the 2D pattern. So I'll now set the exact dimension I want for my rectangle pattern. So 500 by let's say 700 okay so you can now if you want to set an angle the number of the shapes you can you can set it here so you can notice if i click to the rectangle has a duplicate but let's just leave it at one and say okay so now i have an exact piece of the rectangle i want in the exact dimension that i want it if you notice it is 500 by 700 so you can see the piece is reflecting on the 3D garment window. Now I want to edit this pattern, like make it look like a pattern for a dress. I want to like tweak it to look like a pattern for a gown. So we have editing tools. So here we have edit pattern. Here we have edit curvature. Here we have edit curve point, add point and smooth curve. These are the tools you're going to use to edit your pattern to tweak it to whatever shape of garment that you're designing if i select the edit pattern it helps me this helps me to select this segment point this highlighted node is called segment point so it helps me select and move the segment point accordingly the second one helps me to move curves like if i want to make this a curve the second one helps me make it a curve and if you notice according to the icon it can only give you a curve from two points from point a to point b it can go it can only move from point a to point b so it's just going to move this curve according to these two points now the third one if you notice there are three points that means you can move according to more than two points so if i leave this point here and i want to move this one accordingly it will still create a new point without having to move the other points without having to move the other point so you with these two i can create as many curve points as i want in my design yeah with these two i can create as many curve points as i want in my design you notice that as i'm moving it's creating a new point for me but if i go to the second one which is edit curvature I can't see those points. I can only move according to the two given points. I won't see the other points I created in between unless I'm in edit curve points icon. So the next one is add point. Now this add point helps us to split the rectangle or whatever pattern shape you have into two or as many points as possible. And know that this splitting, you can never get it. No matter how hard you try, it's difficult for you to get it to be symmetrical. So I can split as many points i want but you ask what if i want to split it to be symmetrical there is a way you can do that as well so what i have to do is i will be on this edit pattern mode so you, you notice segment lines highlighted so with this you can move up and down you know but i'll right click on that line that is highlighted and i'll see split so when i select split you see this window this window will pop up if i want to split it into half like two equal parts i'll use the first one that is split into two lines i'll type 50 and automatically to make this other one 50 so it has been split into two equal parts for me another way you can also split this if you don't want to split into two you can use uniform split the uniform split as the name implies helps you get uniform split in as many number of segments as possible if i keep increasing it keeps giving me equal split according to the number i have here so i have 10 equal uniform splits on that line now if i want to split by length for split by length i'll get back to that first let me split this into two okay i've split this into two 
and now I want to split by length. So if I place this and I say I want to split 100, so it's going to split by length, that is 100 from the center point. It's going to give you 100 from the center point. And if I want it to come from the left, if I want it to split 100 from the left, all I have to do is I'll reverse it and you find out that it will now split 100 from this other side. But I'll leave it at current. The split by length helps you to split a certain distance from a certain point. So the smooth curve tool gives you a curve from a segment point. So it helps you create a curve from a segment point. So undo that. These are the tools that you're going to use to carve your patterns into whatever shape of garment that you're designing. Now using these edit pattern tools, let's try to create a shape for a simple gown. So I'll first try to split this segment line to create a neck for the gown. So right click, split the segment less 100 from the center. So I think this is okay. Okay. We've created the point for the neck of our gown. Then I want to create a section for the hand of the cloth. So I'll split this and let's say 40. Mm, let's make it 35. Okay. So let's do the same here. Split and make this 35. Okay, so they are at the same point. So let's create a V neck. So you hold down the shift to retain it on a straight line, else it's going to move away from, from the straight line. So you hold down shift to maintain a straight line. So we split a little again to create the waistline. So let's make this 10 and make this 10 as well. Okay. So now we'll, we'll now move this in and this as well. So you notice it will snap when it gets symmetrical. Yeah. So as we can see, it's still taking shape on the, the 3D garment window. So for now, we're not going to touch here for now. Let's just focus on creating the pattern on the 2D pattern window. So now I'm going to copy this. I'm going to duplicate it to create another pattern for the back. So I'm going to copy and mirror paste. Yeah. Now you can see that the both of them on the 3D garment pattern are in the same place, but I want it to be at the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this. Now I can rotate this. I can rotate this to show the back because you can see that the both sides are of different colors showing that the white part is the outside and the gray part is the inside so i can rotate this to show like to face the back as i want i want it to be at the back of the avatar but another thing i can do very easy i'll right click on it and then i'll flip normal so it will automatically flip it without you having to rotate the garment so I'll then put it in place so now you can see it's at the back. So that's how you create your pattern in Marvelous Designer. So basically, you just have to use those tools to create the pattern that you want while designing. So during the course of the video, I'll import an already made pattern and show you how to trace it in marvelous designer and then you can use the pattern in marvelous designer so see you in the next video